Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Winter Wild Cards has taken us on a wild roller coaster ride in the past week in this game. Crazy days of insane evolutions that crashed the market, and then a couple days where quiet content of just an SBC or two just feels like there's not much going on. Well, we need that insane content to return once again today, and we need it to revive this promo because the past couple of days, this Winter Wild Cards promo has fallen off but what is going to be able to do that today on a friday more cards and packs or will it be the evolutions or sbcs we're going to cover that in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's quiet content it won't take us long we had really one sbc and that's it it was the chiro immobile as expected we knew he was getting an sbc they did a decent juice on this card right four star five star is nice power shot plus again is nice they gave him finesse shot power header and first touch Really great shooting stats. They boosted the pace. His dribbling's a little bit better. His passing's a little bit better as well. But uh, honestly, it's just not that great of a card. And the price kind of shows it. 120,000 coins. It's not bad. It's just okay. If you're in a Serie A team, if you need those links, or if you just want to dump some fodder into an SBC so that you can get out of your unassigned 84, 84 with the team of the week, and 85, it's not that difficult to do. So that is there and that's kind of all that it is it's there right unless you're an italian fan cheerio mobile fan then boom that one's good for you we also had marquee matchups yesterday a rare election players pack is not as good uh, as a mega pack from last week but that is there and of course yesterday as a part of content as well we had the refresh this is probably the biggest piece of content yesterday not even anything new the refresh of the year in review player pick now i haven't done it yet but i'm definitely going to this is the one that includes the icons of course that created all of the craziness earlier on in the week where people were like are icons supposed to be in it is it glitched or not guys i still don't think that it is glitched and it still does contain the icons it's the same exact player pick so make sure you get that one done. It's a fun gamble. It's cheap. It's fun. Easy to craft, of course, with the 83 times 10s. And that was basically it for content yesterday. And because of that, guys, a lot of these cards that we've been watching in price over the last couple of days, they are really starting to take off, especially with the content in the last two days being pretty quiet. Remember when Joe Gomez was right around 80,000 coins? Yeah, he's now basically 100K. Um, you know, McManaman was the card that we were looking at. McManaman's hero UCL card, my game just glitched, is going to crash on me now here, but he's like 120,000 coins and he was 100k. The market is flying in a ton of areas and that is just because the content has been really slow. Jude Bellingham yesterday was 600k, Musiala's up 70,000 coins, Rodrigo is up, Saka is up. Uh, on the lower tier, Raum was like 20,000 coins, now he's 30 thousand coins klaus is up 30k gravin birch is up 20,000 coins a card as well um and i'm just looking at one promo team there are cards across the entire market that are really really rising now the question is will they continue to go up into this next week and through the weekend or will today bring some things to make it go down and that's where i want to begin the conversation today as my game is still logging in after it crashed i'd love to see it let's talk about today though guys all right let's talk about today with first of all covering yet again another evolution leak we have like four evos that are leaked right now and evidently this one is coming today on friday as this leak says a new evolution is set to come it is going to be today on friday it's called high visibility and they said looking at the name he, th he thinks it refers to a position in the midfield area high visibility you think about maybe somebody that's going to be given incisive pass play style plus right they've been giving a lot of play style pluses on these most recent evos but the question is like is it going to be a good evo like last week we had so many great insane evos like the growth spurt uh like pep's legacy all of these absolutely nuts evolutions that i still haven't even done yet but like pep's legacy growth spurt even like a rock was really really good are they going to continue the trend with these being all like really insane evolutions or are these going to quiet down a bit i hope that they continue to be insane and evidently the people that know about this leak also know who is going to fit the league as well because if you did not see it jude bellingham was on the face of footbin yesterday for a really long time and evidently he does fit this evo um his gold card yesterday is up a lot he's like 12 13 000 coins right now 
Yesterday, he was starting off before this 8,000 coins. He went all the way up to 14K before he dropped a little bit after the Evo did not come out yesterday. But I'm guessing that he is up and that he is being invested in just kind of like Kai Walker, Saliba, Adiemi, for all those other leaked evolutions that we've talked about in the past couple of days. He is being invested in for this evo so evidently this is the evo that is coming today and what have we learned right when an evo drops for a certain position set you have to be careful with a lot of those players in that position on the market so maybe center mids defensive mids and attacking mids take a bit of a hit in price today but it's all going to depend on how good that evolution is so that's the first and probably the biggest part of content today guys we've got all these evos and in the last week evos have been so insane it's even bigger than the cards that are coming in packs, to be completely honest, looking at those cards. In the past week, I finished off this Evo for Rigoni, 5 star, 5 star, 97 pace, sorry, passing, 90 pace. I'm super stoked to try this card out. You can play striker, left and right side. All I need now is to pack Radioactive Messi from the best of, and I've got myself an absolutely insane full chem, I believe he'd be on full chem, or almost full chem, uh, Rigoni Evo. So that's going to be a super sub in my team. That's just an example. I'm sure you guys have tons of Evos as well, doing the Alaba, the Kent Cello, all the crazy stuff that is out there. Now, let's move on to the cards and packs because yes, we are getting a new team of cards and packs today. This team right here, Winter Wild Cards team number one with all the icons and the mini release and everything are, is going to be going out of packs. The timer that you can see, it can't really see it. It's behind my face cam. But all these cards like Pele, Puteas, Ronaldo, VVD, they are going out of packs today. But Team 2 of Winter Wild Cards will stay in packs, and so will the Winter Best Of. So th these two things, the Best Of and Team 2, are still staying in packs. But we've got a new set of Winter Wild Cards coming in packs today. As we've looked at a few of these cards already... It has potential. It's definitely not as good as Team 1, right? If you're opening your packs, I would almost say open your packs still before the content drop today. I wouldn't try to save anything unless you want to save an 83 times 10 or something for the new cards today because you like a player that's in this promo. Yeah, there are some good ones. Casemiro, Salah, Goretzka, right? There's some pretty hype ones in here. Adiemi, again, also leaked for an evolution, just like Kyle Walker, going to be uh, in the promo team as well. Saliba going to be in the promo team, another Rem center back. Of course, you've got Geraldo Becker. We've seen this leak, but a couple of brand new leaks. We've of course got the Renato Sanchez, right? This could be a really, really insane card. Really excited for that one. We've got Raspadori, who might even be better than the Immobile SBC that we had yesterday. So watch out for that one. And we also have Rabio, who again, I find this so funny that so many of these cards and winter wild cards are players that people have evolved. Rabio has been popular in like so many evos so far this year but he's getting himself a winter wild cards promo card just to top it off we do have a couple other big names kunde has been leaked to get his a next special card of this game he had a trailblazers earlier on that was really cracked looks like he's getting a winter wild cards as well and then a promo goalkeeper with courtois this is going to be a card that will be really really good to trade with that thing later on especially if we get towards like team of the year and stuff you guys remember how those courtois cards have done over time out of packs it's kind of like him ter Stegen, and some of those big very popular goalkeepers from the big clubs with all of the chemistry links that they have this is going to be a really, really popular card. Also, side note, EA, give us a goalkeeper Evo. What are we waiting on here, man? I know it's going to kill the market, or at least a lot of the goalkeeper market when they do that, but I'm ready. I think we're all ready for a really cool goalkeeper Evo. So those are all the leaks of cards coming into packs today. And then, of course, um, the cards that are going to be Via the objectives, I think we actually know what's going to be happening in objectives today as well. There was a leak way back when for an objective by Rick, uh, TH21. He leaked the objective uh, that we had this first week, and then also he leaked Yeri Mina. So I believe this is the official objective that we're going to be getting today. Not that insane of a card, but, you know, at least decent. 80 pace, right? That's a huge pace boost for that card. So that is pretty solid. Um, speaking of the packs, of the cards that are going to be in packs, let's go to the store just for a second. I want to show you guys something. Before we talk about all the big SBCs that could be coming today, um, a lot of the store packs are going away. Today, the store is going to look probably a lot like it did last Friday. It's going to look really quiet, like Ultra Wild Card Pack, 2023 Historical Encore Pack, Supreme Icebreaker, the 83 times 70 probably going to go away. I doubt all of it returns. It could, but usually what EA do is like on a Friday, they release a couple store packs, they release the lightning rounds like crazy, 
but it's only a couple store packs and a lot of these cheaper packs, and then they build it up over the weekend, right? Then on Saturday, they'll drop the big 500K. Then Sunday, it'll be the 600K pack. So if you want to do one of these, maybe last chance, I suppose. Uh, but I do think, remember last Friday, guys, the 84 times 10 lightning rounds really impacted the market a lot. I think there was very, very good potential that those come back again today. It may not impact the market as much, but I do believe we'll get all the lightning rounds today, 81 times 100s. Maybe they'll drop an icebreaker rare gold provisions pack, which is very interesting. They put this as a global limit, but uh, that is like filling your club up with rare golds from 75 to 80. And yeah, so that's a very interesting pack for 40,000 coins. I don't think gold rares are that expensive enough right now to make that worth the gamble. But if you get lucky, you get lucky. So um, there's definitely gonna be store packs yesterday, but just wanted to shout that out. It's probably gonna be less than what is in there right now. Now, let's talk about our SBC today. Going back to our favorite graphic, which we are now about halfway through, I guess. I think we were halfway through. No, maybe today we're halfway through. Anyways, Ian Wright. It seems a little bit underwhelming compared to, think about the last Friday, we had Martinelli and Hullet. Now both Hullet and Martinelli were a bit expensive for SBCs, but today is a very interesting one. Ian Wright is coming as a Winter Wild Cards icon player SBC. And with Bobby Moore um, and Del Piero, the last two icons that they've dropped, they have not changed the position of the icon on the card. So I'm wondering if that's gonna be the same thing for Ian Wright today. He's three, four, medium, medium. This is not a very good base icon card. Of course, very well known uh, as a player. He's got rapid and chip shot plus. They need to give him a finesse plus or something crazy today. They need to give him some more dribbling, ball control, play styles, maybe like, I don't know, give him quick step and rapid and trivella as well. Or I, they need to really juice up his card today and make it a nice SBC. Cause as of right now, this is looking like it could be another L and that would not be cool for a Friday piece of content. I'm hoping that there's something special that they do with the Ian Wright today. But again, we've been saying that all week for the player SBCs like Mbabu, Immobile, Bobby Moore, and they're all just, they're all just okay. So I hope they do something real special uh, with that SBC today in the Ian Wright. Now what's even bigger and probably gonna be more popular and exciting for a lot of people today is the 87 plus, I believe. It's not refreshable for me because I have not done it even once yet, but I believe when this SBC was released, it was set to refresh today on Friday. The icon packs normally do. It's kind of the EA trend this year. Again, it's three squads for this 87 plus base or Centurions icon player pick. And with it coming back today, this is again, like I said, probably gonna be the most exciting SBC that is gonna be re-released. Like yesterday, Chiro Mobile came out, but the interview player pick was more exciting. I think the base icon, Centurion's icon pick is gonna be popular. Watch informs. Two informs required inside of this. When it was dropped last week, informs did rise, I believe, along with the 83 times 10 still being out. You're not losing any inform demand. In fact, you're gaining some demand. Now, informs dropped, I think, a little bit yesterday. With the year interview review pick coming back, it didn't make them at least go up and maintain a higher price. They were 39,000 coins, and I believe now they're sitting right around 36 to 37K. So just down a little bit, not much at all. If you want to risk it today, you could maybe try to pick them up before the content drop, maybe on some bids, try to get low 30K bids, and then maybe they would rise. I would try to focus on a higher rated team of the weeks as well, because as a part of the 87 plus, base centurions pick it's an 87 rated squad that requires an inform so maybe some of those 86 rated informs maybe an 87 rated inform as well could go up in price a bit because of that now some of you might be like nate should i go all in on informs because the 83 plus team of the week is going away today i do not think that's a good move i do believe the 83 plus team of the week or some form of a player a player pick some other form of a team of the sbc probably just the refresh of this exact same one will be coming back today, but I need to hit that a couple of times because I'm gonna need informs for the 83 times 10. And if EA somehow do not re-release this SBC today, informs will go up more because that would mean less craftability for an 83 times 10 SBC that is still available today. Um, and again, like I said, the icon player pick that is refreshing. So a lot of the other SBCs though inside of here are going away. You know, you've got your, um, 80 plus player pick that's going away, the 81 double, the solo to squad upgrade, the 85 plus player pick has one more day. And of course, we're still working through the daily login upgrade. Wait, let's go to objectives real quick. What are we going to all be getting today for our daily login? Daily login number nine is a lone pick and an 85 times two. Not bad. We'll take that. And uh, one thing I'm still questioning is 
what has EA done with this weekly trader objective? Because now it doesn't say anything about refreshing. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on this. I don't know if it's coming back, though, because it's still, I think, glitched for people that have not done it yet. I think most have by now, but I do believe this is still glitched. If they refresh it, maybe it's glitched again. That'd be a lot of great fodder. I don't see them doing that, though. If it is messed up, it might just expire and be gone, and it won't actually refresh. We will have to see. So I think that is the content to watch out for today in SBCs and objectives. Now let's talk about the market a little bit, right? Because last week, the market was crazy on the winter wild cards. Maybe you guys remember on stream, we watched Rafinha and a lot of these cards get supplied and packed. They went low, low, low. But I think the reason why they went so low, along with the fact that we had the 84 times 10 lightning rounds that really supplied a lot of these cards so much, I think the big reason that they went down so much is too, is that there was a lot of safe packs. And I don't think there's like any saved packs this week so if you're trying to buy a card uh from the winter wild cards team i think there's opportunities here team number one a lot of their prices are up right the balo is 200k renato was leaked he's kind of been rising since then and with the market being you know going up on all basically all levels with the content not being so good you're seeing these prices go up a good amount i'd be careful investing in these but these guys could be, go up a decent amount i'd specifically watch like the lower tier i think i'd watch royce uh, I think I would watch Rafinha. I think I'd watch Grimaldo, Fernandez, and Balde. They've already started to rise. Like Balde was 63K, I think. Um, Enzo is 78,000 coins. And you might be like, Nate, that's up in price. I've been watching his price. You know, what was he earlier in the week? He was down at like 68K. He's up 10,000 coins a card. You look at him yesterday, he went from 74K now to like 80,000 coins. You know, I would not tell you to rash invest on any of these cards. They go out of packs. I mean, we are getting the refresh of that icon player pick today. There could be a bit of a panic sell at content with, especially if we get a really good evolution, right? The evolutions crashed the market last week for like three, four days in a row before now we're starting to see the market rise again. If we get really good evolutions, especially for midfielders, a guy like Grimaldo, a guy like Enzo, could dip down in price and that could be a decent time to buy since they're out of packs unless the, the evo is like super crazy or something like that but that could be a decent time to buy on some of these cards if you want to get involved now one thing i would tell you to be careful with is anybody who is in team two we're talking alaba we're talking mukiele we're talking kyle walker any of those cards that are still going to be in packs even the icons like butragueno that are in team two be very careful with those. These cards will probably get panic sold number one this morning on Friday. Watch for fluctuations. These cards are more rare because they were not released in packs last Friday with all the supply that came. So that makes them maybe a little bit better to trade with, but they're definitely going to take a hit in price because number one, panic selling today. And number two, more lining rounds, more supply, weekend league rewards that are going to be opened up as well. So be very careful with team two of the winter wild cards for that supply that is going to be hitting today. I would not want to own any of those cards um, for honestly too much longer because I believe uh, that they are very rare and they will be getting supplied. So Doku would be in that as well. And Kunku for sure. Stoichkov, Butragueno, Barnes, Raquel. I know they're pretty cheap, but I do believe that they could drop off a bit more today. And even, even the cards that are in the best of, like I know Messi's already been in packs for a week and I think Messi's even started to go up a little bit. Same thing with like Valverde. Um, Messi was down like oh wow he is definitely going up Messi was 1.17 I think at one point during the week so he's up 200,000 coins from where he was but I think that some of that could come back today same thing with Valverde how much is he right now Valverde was 1 mil wow he's up 150k he's 1.15 I, I believe that Valverde can reach like 100k cheaper than this. 1.05. Messi could be back down at 1.2 with the lightning rounds, with the panic today. Be very careful with those because the weekends are always the biggest amount of supply for a lot of those cards. So that's one of the biggest warnings I would give you today. But for the market in general, with the Evos and with the panic on the market, with a lot of demand still for a weekend league, I think you want to keep in that lower budget range. If you're trying to work the market today, definitely keep an eye out on the brand new cards they're going to be dropped. But think about the cards that have gone up the most in the past couple of days in this game. If you've been watching out of pack special cards on the market, a lot of the cards that we've looked at, like the Joe Gomez, um, wow, Lauren James is 160,000 coins. Oberdorf, he's up in price a lot. Reese James is up a lot. Verts is up even some. Um, Timbers, still only 220. Like, when is this guy going to go to like 250? It's going to happen, man. Except for maybe Saliba today it might hurt him, especially with the evolutions. But some of those cards, like we were trying to look at McManaman earlier before my game crashed. 
these are the types of cards that I would still be watching, guys, because these are the cards that still have a lot of potential on a day like today where an icon pack or pick gets re-released. A card like this, like if he goes back down to sub 100K, you're probably not going to see him go down to like 95K where he was before. Or like Joe Gomez even, to use him as an example again, I don't think you're going to see Joe Gomez go back down to 80,000 coins where we were buying him, right? And now he's 100,000. You're not going to see him at 80K unless there's a crazy, crazy Evo, right? And like, I don't know, maybe Joe Gomez's gold card fits into it and that makes this one drop because the new one's better for the Evo or something like that, right? It'd have to be something crazy evolution-wise to make a card like this drop. But if there's nothing like that and uh, there is a little bit of panic on the market, these are the types of cards that you want to watch the most. Where's Pedri, right? We've been speaking about Pedri this week as well. With Man, these last couple days, I know I've been away with the holidays and stuff. 129, 130K, almost 140 for Pedri. It's been a really good day to trade on the market. Couple days, if you bought cards in that panic midweek, early in the week, like Monday, Tuesday, if you still have those, a lot of those prices have appreciated. I think there maybe is going to be another opportunity to do that this week. I just don't think there's going to be as much panic this weekend. So even today, if you see some big dips in price, could be an opportunity to get involved for some quick flips or even some flips that last later into next week. But usually over the weekend, you don't want to be buying too many cards. You want to wait until sometime like Sunday, Monday. How much is Masrawi? Oh my, Masrawi exploded. That's rarity, man. That is rarity. He was 160,000 coins yesterday, and right now he's 200. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's the way that a lot of the market is right now, though, with the content being the way that it is. I did like zero trading yesterday. Ooh, if you have gold VVD, maybe take the cash on him. He's going to get panic sold a bit today. I sold him a little too early. I think he's like 130,000 coins now. He's coming back into packs with his um, winter wild cards going out of packs. Keep an eye on that one. Uh, but this one, like if he gets down to like 110, I think that'd be a buy. Um, even though he's coming back into packs, maybe, maybe that's not a low enough price to say for a buy. But this is, again, one of the best center backs in the game. Everybody knows that he's cracked. And uh, with a lot of people on lower budgets playing this game and buying cards, he could be one to really keep an eye on. So that's kind of the market in a nutshell right now. I still have uh, Barella, who I guess maybe appreciated a little bit extra in value yesterday because of the um, because of the Immobile. But I'm listing him up at 327 because I'm happy if I get that sale price on his card there guys i think that's a video for today man hopefully ea do something to juice up that ian right if they do strikers could be hurting if the evil comes out and it's cracked players could be hurting in price as well but we're going to keep crafting the 83 times 10s we're going to keep crafting on hullet and uh work on the next evolution man i'm excited for today but i'm also just reserving my hype a little bit just because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what EA is going to do to make it special. Let's end off this video with something special from an 83 times 10. I need an inform actually because I don't have one right now. And I'm still chasing Radioactive Messi as I mentioned earlier in the video because of who I just evolved. Oh, 84. That's, that's terrible. Oh, okay. Well, that saves it. All right. Two informs. Ask and you shall receive, man. All right. There we go. That's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Accountant. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. Link down below in the description. Peace out.